Christmas just keeps on going in Excel. And I know that I haven't gotten through all 14 of those new functions, but there's so many presents just keep showing up. And one of the latest, extracting data from an image. A few videos ago, I showed you about pulling data from an image using OneNote. And I'm gonna compare OneNote's results with Excel's results in this video. Check this out. Here is a card that I get because I subscribe to a program where they send me four unlabeled cigars every month. And they send me a card along with them so that I can rate the cigars without knowing the brand, okay? Now, what if I want this card grab these fields, this information off of the card so that I can make my own card, say in Excel. We can rate the construction, the overall experience. We can do some things with the flavor. Do we get like an almond, a pecan or a peanut flavor from the cigar? See, I don't use that part because people who talk like that about cigars, I don't get them. Anyway, we want to get the data off of this card. Okay, click the card. I'm going to right click and copy. Go to data. I'm in data actually. Okay, click away from the card, from picture, from clipboard. Look at that. We're getting the data from the picture. Okay, now let's look at what is happening. Bring this up. And we're going to see something that I really like about this feature. Now I can insert the data. Okay. Um, or we can review. So what happens when I click review, but let's look at what's happening here. Okay. So construction in S on the card, it says construction and in parentheses, one to 10 points. Okay. Complexity zero to 1009 and then it's got flavor zero to 30 ms that's kind of weird cigar reveal and then berry cherry raisin ha huh, wow there's a lot of stuff going on okay click review one through 14 to review um, now is giving me a, a preview, something to check. And look, this little piece is highlighted and I can't move this so that I can see what the hell I'm supposed to be reviewing. So I'm gonna hit, uh, go here, click this. Uh, I can't see what's happening. I got vegetation, earth, earth, lead, graphite, now I could try to fix some of this. So like index, I can put a space, space, almond, space, space, gamey, space, space, uh, and then click accept. And now it's taking me to number four. And instead of standard in twain, I've got standard a number eight and a bunch of stuff and then profile strength. I can't split this column or anything. Uh, I could go in here and correct this stuff. Okay. Uh, and Twain, accept. I'm gonna close and I'm gonna insert data. This is the part that I really like about this. This box says you are responsible for validating the accuracy of all data. Yes. I like this because a lot of AI and machine learning technology are, are uses. They present themselves like, wow, mind blowing stuff. Perfect. No, this stuff is not perfect. And I appreciate this warning that you have to check this. The Excel developers aren't saying, hey, click this button and everything is good. No, you've got to check this. 
And I understand that some people have said, uh, like Bill Jelen, he said that eventually he would ignore this box and just close it. Yes, I agree. I probably will as well. But I just like the acknowledgement that this machine learning stuff is not perfect and the user is responsible for what happens. Okay. Insert anyway. How has this sat down in here? Standard and Twain, it accepted my change. That was good. Um, but we still have this stuff and it's all over the place. So let's look at how this would happen in OneNote. Here we are in OneNote and click on the image, right click, copy text from picture. All right, go back over to Excel. Move this card out of the way. Well, let's see what happens. Paste. Oh, look at that. Let's do match destination formatting. Widen this. We've got profile, strength, construction, one to 10, complexity. Okay, what happened to the one to 10? Let's see, is it down here? Look at this. Okay, so we got cinnamon coffee. There's a split in coffee, wasabi, tar. Okay, so we've lost a parenthesis here somewhere. Okay, but at least things are all in this tall single column. Let's look at something else. Here is some paper for a coffee tasting and a seating chart. Now here is one thing that I can do. I don't have to have the image in Excel. I'm going to data from picture from file. I'm going to select this seating chart. See? It did not bring the image in, but it is analyzing the image. Let's see what it gets us. Now, I wish that we could move this image around so that we can see as we check this stuff out. All right, we got all of these red boxes and gray boxes. So, review. One of 62 things to review. Oh boy. I like the idea of this, but going through all 62 of these is not practical. But let's see what it's got. Erica, Hank, and Lee. Those are all going vertical around table one. So I'm gonna do this for now put an asterisk and a space between these. So, you know, I'm thinking one strategy could be if things are okay, then at least I have this delimiter that I can split by, but let's keep moving forward. So accept that. Second one, I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking at. Two of 62. All right, next. Another one, three of 62 that I don't know what I'm looking at. Let's see, four, okay. So let's go back to four, mitten and coral. Now see that previous version had the three people, Erica, Hank, and Lee. This one, there's mitten, coral in Florida, vertically around table one, but this one only is showing mitten and coral. So I'm gonna make a delimiter there and accept. Oh, wow. Here is something with a bunch of asterisks and an X and a less than sign. Let's insert data. And again, let's see. 59 items still require review. 
We are unsure about the data in many cells. You can review them one at a time or try again with a better quality image. And you are responsible. Let's insert anyway what's happening. So here is a table and a parenthesis. TABW2 et. What is this? Go over here. We got Arcus. And here is ABW3 should be table three. Let's look at what OneNote would give us. Here's OneNote. Click on the image, right click, copy text from picture. Go over, Let's open a new tab, right click, and then paste. Ah, uh, Erica, Hank, Lee, Mindy, Gordon, Minton, table three. Okay, Wednesday, I p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Coffee tasting, clear, and it's not in a cell with some other things. This is pretty good. We could clean this up. This is doable. Now you see, none of these are perfect. You have to look at the data gotta check these results out so far what i see one note has a better result that would be easier to clean up and easier to review um, i like the direction that the excel team is going with this but that interface i would like to be able to move that picture around so that i can see better what am i supposed to be reviewing and it doesn't help me very much when i've got 64 cells to go through and check and it gives the option to make corrections, but the corrections aren't like, I need to split a cell right here, or I need to merge one cell with another one. It just says, hey, here is some stuff, make a correction, save it. But the correction you need to make, you might not be able to make. Hopefully you have this feature in Excel already so that you can play with it and see what kind of results you get. But remember, you are responsible for the results.